Hello there. I'm Ken Levine, and um, thank you for joining me here today at one of my favorite local establishments. I'll be um, sharing some stories with you. I've been collecting them in a, a volume I'm calling The Untold Stories of Rapture. My first selection is called All Good Things Flow Into the City by The Great and Powerless. The princess once told me I was capable of many things and had potential. She was right. Everything was a momentary blur before I felt cold water rush over me. Disoriented, I swam towards the surface, watching as the longings of others sank beneath me. The longer it took, the tighter my chest felt. Until I finally reached the surface, I struggled to stay afloat, blinking blindly at the blaze of the plane. Just enough light was offered to me to notice the towering lighthouse alone in the middle of the sea. The flames offered little light as I climbed the steps up to the doors of the lighthouse, which opened with ease. A beautiful tapestry was adorned with the phrase, no gods, no kings, only ponies. I chose one side of the ramp, treading lightly as I looked around. Two beautiful torches lit an archway that led to a small, spherical submersible. With delicate steps, I went into the vessel, hoof by hoof. Before the water could cover half the glass, a film began to play. I am Celestia of Cantalot, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a pony not entitled to the sweat of her own brow? No, says the Pegasus of Cloudsdale. It belongs to the sky. No, says the pony of Manhattan. It belongs to the earth. No, says the unicorn of Cantalot. It belongs to the gifted. Well, I rejected those answers, and I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose Dream Valley.